mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Alleluia, Jeff, Mavi, and Oro, me, Ave, on him, a cave, choice, لأن رحمته قد ثبتت علينا وحق الرب يدوم إلى الأبد أمين أللو أويا لك سبتري كأيو كأجيوم نفماتي كنين كأي كستوسي ونستوني أونن أمين أللو Kitum <laughs> Can Helen in the wind, John Tucker, Tour of Choice of a note? Rose of exhausting. Yes, yes, وأشفقت علينا وعبدتنا وأتيت بنا لهذه الساعة. ربونك أرحمنا الله ترافع علينا عينا أقبل صلاة وطلبات قدسي منهم بالصلاة عنا في كل حين واجعلنا مستحقين أننا من شركات أسرار المقدسة المباركة لمغفرة خطايانا لمغفرة خطايانا. يا رب ارحم. هذا نسأل الله من صلاحك يا محب البشر. وكل أيام حياتنا وكل سلام مع مخافتك كل حسد وكل تجيب وكل تفعل الشيطان مؤامرات الناس الأشراء وقيام الأعداء الخفين وزين زحا عنا وعن سعي شعبك هذه المائدة وهذه الكنيسة وذاك المقدسة المصالحات والنافعات وزخنا إياه أنك أعطتنا السلطان لسلحات على خير كل كويس May you serve the minister of this day the proto priest, priest, deacons, clergyman, congregation, my weak self be absorbed by the Holy Trinity, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, one Holy Verse, of such God, through the Master, Twelve Apostles, 
The Bible of Lusa Mag the Vengeance of Mars and the Feast of Patriarch, our teacher's course, that's Apostolic St. Peter the Harp, Peace of Mars, and John Chrysostom, St. Sil, St. Vesta Gregory. The 319 assembly at Nisi, our consul, the Pope, and Ephesus, through the Mass of the Lord's Second, his brother, Apostolic Mayor Bethanil, the Mass of Bunay, our Oak, the Church Father, my Priest of Blessing, and Rose, the Holy Name of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now forever. Amen. So it is a mean case. Sorry, I'm one on because I'm one on ten and no. 
Christ called to be an apostle appointed to the gospel of God. I read from the epistle of our teacher Paul to the Galatians. May his holy blessings be with us all. Amen. I say then walk in spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusts against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. And these are the contrary to one another so that you do not do the things that you wish. But if you are led by the spirit you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are evident, which are adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lewdness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, contentions, jealousies, outbursts of wrath, uh, selfish ambitions, uh, dissensions, heresies, envy, murders, drunkenness, revel re revelries, and like of which I tell you beforehand. Just as, just as I told you in time past, those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. And those who are Christ's have crucified the flesh with, compassion, its, with its compassion and desires. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Let us not become uh, cons yeah, provoked, provoking one another, envying one another. Brethren, if a man is overtaken in any trespasses, you are the spirit res uh, spiritual restore, such as one in spirit of gentleness, uh, considering your, uh, yourself, lest you also be tempted, bearing one another burdens, and so fulfilling the law of Christ. The grace of God, the Father, be with you all. Amen. بكسل يكون فصم رسالة معلمنا يعقوب الرسول بركة علينا أمين فاصبروا يا إخوتي إلى ظهور الرب هو هذا الفلاح ينتظر ثمرة الأرض الجاهية صابرا عليه حتى نال أول الثمرة وآخره فاصبروا أنتم وثبتوا قلوبكم لأن ظهور الرب قد اقترب لا يئن بعضكم على بعض يا إخوتي لألا تدانوا هو هذا الديان واقف على الأبواب خذوا لكم يا إخوتي مثالا احتمال المشقات وطول الأناة أنات الأنبياء الذين تكلموا باسم الرب ها نحن نطوب الصابرين قد سمعتم بصبر أيوب ورأيتم عاقبة الرب لأن الرب هو عظيم الرأفة جدا وهو طويل الأنا لا تحب العالم ولا الأشياء التي في العالم لأن العالم يمضي شهوة مع عمم من يعم مشيئة الله فأنا أثبت لابد أمين أريبا Oh, 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 oh. 
Fathers and pure apostles who are invested with the grace of the Holy Spirit, may their blessings be with us all. Amen. Then Agrippa said to Paul, You are permitted to speak for yourself. So Paul stretched out his hand and answered for himself, I think myself happy, King Ap Ag Agrippa, because today I shall answer for myself before you concerning all the things which I am accused by the Jews especially because you are expert in all customs and questions which have to do with the Jews. Therefore, I beg you to hear me patiently. My manner of life from my youth, which has spent from the beginning among my own nation at Jerusalem, all the Jews know. They knew me from the first, if they were willing to testify that according to the strictest sect of our religion, I lived a Pharisee. And now I stand and am judged for the hope of the promise made by God to our fathers. To this promise our twelve tribes earnestly served God night and day, hoping to attain for this hope's sake, King Agrippa, I am accused by the Jews. Why should it be thought incredible by you that God raises the dead? Indeed, I myself thought I must do many things contrary to the name of Jesus of Nazareth. This I also did in Jerusalem, and many of the saints I shut up in prison, having received authority from the chief priests, and when they were put to death, I cast my vote against them. And I punished them often in every synagogue, and compelled them to blaspheme, and being exceedingly enraged against them, I persecuted them even to foreign cities. While thus occupied as I journeyed to Damascus with authority and commission from the chief priests, at midday, O king, along the road, I saw a light from heaven, brighter than the sun, shining around me and those who were journeyed with me. And when we had all fallen to the ground, I heard a voice speaking to me, saying in the, language, in the Hebrew language, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? It is hard for you to kick against the goads. So I said, Who are you, Lord? And he said, I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. But rise and stand on your feet, for I have appeared to you for this purpose, to make you a minister and a witness, both of the things which you have seen and of the things which, ha which I will yet reveal to you. I will deliver you from the Jewish people, as well as from the Gentiles to whom I now send you, to open their eyes in order to turn them from darkness to light, and from the power of Satan to God that they may receive forgiveness of sins and inheritance among those who are sanctified by faith in me. The word of God shall grow, multiply, be mighty, and be confirmed in the Holy Church of God. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, what I'm going to mean today is the fifth day of the blessed month of Baramut. May his blessing be with us all. Amen. On this day, in the year 576 BC, the great prophet Ezekiel, the, the priest, the son of Buzi, was martyred. May his blessing be with us all. I mean, also on this day, in the year 325 A.D., St. Hepitius, Bishop of Gangara, was martyred. He was consecrated bishop in early part of the fourth century. He was one of the great fathers who defended the divinity of the Lord Christ and his equality with the Father in essence. He refuted the error of the Arian heretics and others. God had honored him with the gift of performing wonders and was called the wonder worker. He attended the first universal council in at Nicaea in the year 325 AD on this on his way back after attending the session of the council to Gangara a group of heretic were waiting for him by the road attacked him and stoned him thus he received he was martyred then they threw his body in a hay barn. When the people of the city of Gangara knew, they came in haste to the place where he was martyred. They took the body 
and buried him in the city with a great veneration. The blessing of his prayer be with us and glory be to God forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> Telios, O Gios, Yeshirus, O Sargos, Entai, Kem Nevmatos, O Gios, O Gios, Maries, Tisbarethenu, Migatum, Estirion, O Gios, Thanatos, Eleis, O Nimes, Avenchu, Oh, hey. 
Stand up for prayer. Peace be with you. And, and with your spirit. O oh, Master Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who told his honorable disciples and apostles that many prophets and righteous men earnestly desired to see what you now beholding, but they could not, and to see what you now listening to, but they could not. Bless your eyes, but they see. And he is for the he grant that become eligible to hear and perform according to the gospel through the petitions of you saints. Pray for the Holy Gospel. Lord have mercy. Remember all those who ask your supplications and petitions are for you, Lord our God. Grant repose to the souls be us in departure, heal those who are sick for our life. Our salvation, our hope, our healing, and our resurrection. Up in the fear of God and listen to the Holy Gospel, a chapter from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, the pure apostle and disciple, may his blessing. Teacher David, the prophet, may his blessing be with us all. Amen. Hear my prayer, O Lord, give ear to my supplications. In your faithfulness, answer me, and in your righteousness, do not enter into judgment with your servant. the Lord, our Lord, God and Savior and King of us all, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, to whom is glory forever. Amen. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you devour widows' houses, and for a pretense make long prayer. Therefore you will receive greater condemnation. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you travel and Land and sea to win one pros proselyte, and when he is one, you make him twice as much a son of hell as yourselves. Woe to you, blind guys, who say whoever swears by the temple it is nothing, but whoever swears by the gold of the temple he is obliged to perform it. Fools and the blind, for which is greater the gold or the temple that sanctifies the gold. And whoever swears by the altar, it is nothing. But whoever swears by the gift that is on it, 
he is obliged to perform it, fools and the blind, for which is greater the gift or the altar that sanctifies the gift. Therefore, he who swears by the altar swears by it and by all things on it. He who swears by the temple swears by it and by him who dwells in it. And he who swears by heaven swears by the throne of God and by him who sits on it. Woe to you, scribes and the Pharisees, hypocrites, for you pay tithe of mint and anise and cumin and have neglected the whiter matters of the law, justice and mercy and faith. This you ought to have done without leaving the others undone. Blowing guys who strain out a gnat and swallow a camel. Woe to you, scribes and the Pharisees, hypocrites, for you cleanse the outside of the cup and dish, but inside they are full of extortion and self indulgence. Blind Pharisees, first cleanse the inside of the cup and dish, that the outside of them may be clean also. Woe to you, scribes and the Pharisees, hypocrites, for you are like whitewashed tombs, which indeed appear beautiful outwardly, but inside are full of dead men's bones and all uncleanliness. Even so, you also outwardly appear righteous to men, but inside you are full of hypocrisy and lawlessness. Woe to you, scribes and the Pharisee hypocrites, because you build the tombs of the prophets and adorn the monuments of the righteous and say if we had lived in the days of our fathers we would not have been partakers with them in the blood of the prophets therefore you are witnesses against yourselves that you are sons of those who murdered the prophets fill up then the measure of your father's guilt Serpents brood of vipers, how can you escape the condemnation of hell? Therefore, indeed, I send you prophets, wise men, and the scribes. Some of them you will kill and crucify, and some of them you will scourge in your synagogues and persecute from city to city, that on you may come all the righteous bloodshed on the earth. From the blood of righteous Abel to the blood of Zechariah, son of Bershia, whom you murdered between the temple and the altar, assuredly I say to you, all these things will come upon this generation. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the one who kills the prophets and destroys those who are sent to hear, how often I wanted to gather your children together as a hen gathers her cheeks under her wings, but you were not willing. See, your house is left to you desolate, for I say to you, you shall see me no more till you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Glory be to أمين. من مدة طويلة خالص يعني يمكن 25 سنة على كده تعرفت بشاب كان مسيحي بس كان بعيد عن ربنا خالص وكان بيستخدم نوع من الدراجز صعب قوي ان يبطل وتصرفاته كانت غريبة عشان الدراج ده وبعدين كان بيجي عندي في البيت لاحظت حاجة غريبة جدا يعني انه لما بيطلب حاجة من ربنا ربنا بيعملها له بطريقة معجزية افاكر حتى زوجتي قالت لي يعني ما تتعبش نفسك ده حالة ما يقوس منها يعني كان شكله فعلا ما يقوس منه يعني بس وات هابند از ذات 
I observed that even I asked him to pray for me for something that happened. So I start knowing how the Lord deals with people. I say that because today we read part of the gospel whereby Jesus was very tough on some a group of people who are the leaders. He was very tough on them, warning them, calling them descriptions that are, yani, call them sons of hell. And uh, how, how would you be saved? While when he deals with sinful people, he is very extremely gentle. To the extent that once he said, I came for them, I came for the sinful people. Once he was invited for a party, it was dinner, and uh, the majority of attending people were sinners. Then the Pharisees told his disciple, what's he doing? And is that his uh, place? Sitting with sinners. Then he said, I came for them. This section of the gospel is read to us always whenever the Synexarium speak about a prophet of the Old Testament that died or was martyred. And today is the case. So Jesus is speaking about the leaders of the Jewish nation, particularly the Pharisees and scribes, and telling describing them to be hypocrites and telling them things together when you read this you observe things very important first Jesus was very logical in thinking there's no need for us to follow the crowd in wrong things think there was teaching spread by them and everyone follows them Jesus is analyzing it in a very clear way a very logical way you have to be logical. Don't follow the crowd in a stupid way. That's one thing. The other thing is that don't you ever, you and me, ever be upset from a person that draws your attention to your own mistakes. Because this is the other side of love, other shape of love. Jesus loved them. And he, he had to wake them up. And the way he did is that he shocked them. And we've seen that from leaders of the Coptic Church that are honest. You remember the last few years in Pope Shenouda's life, he was like that. He was very strict, particularly with the priests, with the bishops, very strict. Why? Because it's important. So please, I'm now speaking to the leaders, deacons, and don't be upset from a leader in the church that because of love he draws your attention to hypocrisy. Hypocrisy is a disease that hits people that live long in the church, unfortunately. Newcomers to the Lord are always broken hearted and they, they, there's no risk of hypocrisy because they feel that I'm sinful, am I allowed in and things like that. But people that have been in the church a number of years they think of themselves to be better than others, and they are very sensitive to accepting any um, command or any, any, if you speak to one of the le leaders or deacons or servants, speak to him about a mistake, he becomes very upset and very disturbed, sometimes leaves the chair. Despite that, it is out of love. Let us learn, learn the fact that we um, welcome any comment that comes to us and out of that improvement will have happen in my spiritual life for my salvation. Something also from this gospel that when I read it, I always observe it. Then Jesus spoke, for example, when we speak about the sanctuary. Jesus here made it clear that there's somebody that lives therein in the sanctuary. So Jesus is emphasizing the fact that this house is the dwelling of the Lord. And this is a teaching for us that's very important. 
is there a difference between praying at home and praying in the church? Yes, it is. This is the house of God. Many times I come here in the night by myself. It's dark. No one on the whole promises, premises. And I enter here to find people here. Doing what? They come to pray. We lift the door with digits. Anyone can do that and come and pray. Why? Because this is the house of God. When you come to his house asking for something, you receive it. Many times people come to the house of God in expectation and they receive. They receive what they need. I had experiences from people in the church that did that and the report. I remember a court case that was very, very tough. And the person that was in trouble spent one day every week in the sanctuary. All the night becomes 11 a.m. p.m. on Tuesday until all the night he, he spends here. And I knew about it. And the court case ended in a marvelous way. I personally had that experience once. I needed something from God and it was desperate. So I said that I got a, that was in Egypt. I went to. Existing before the ages and reigning forever, abiding in the highest and beholding the lowly, who created heaven, earth, and everything therein, the Father of our Lord, God and Savior, Jesus Christ, through whom you have created all things seen and unseen, who sits upon the throne of his glory and is worshipped by all the holy powers. You sit and stand up before whom is and the angels, the archangels, the principalities, the dominion, the thrones, the lordships and the powers. And look towards the years. And the full light cherubim and the six wings seraphim, praising you continuously without failing, saying, Let us attend. The cherubim worship you, and the seraphim glorify you, proclaiming and saying, Yeah. 
heaven and earth are full of your holy glory. قدوس قدوس بالحقيقة يا الرب إلهنا الذي قبلنا وخلقنا ودعنا في فردوس النعيم وعندما خلفنا وصيتك بغواية الحية سقطنا من الحياة الأبدية ونفينا من فردوس النعيم فلم تتركنا عنك أيضا إلى الانقضاء بل تعتنا دائما بأنبياك قديسين وفي آخر الأيام زارت لنا نحن الجلوس في الظلمة وظلال الموت بابنك الوحيد الجنس ربنا وإلهنا ومخلصنا يسوع الماسية هذا الذي من الروح القدس ومن العذراء القديسة ماريا وتأنس وعلمنا ترك الخلاص ونعم علينا بالميلاد الذي من فوق بواسطة الماء والروح وجعلنا له شعبا مجتمعا وصيدنا طارا بروحك القدوس هذا الذي أحب خاصته الذين في العالم وسلم ذاته فداء عنا إلى الموت الذي تملك علينا هذا الذي كنا ممسكين به مبعين من قبل خطايانا نزل إلى الجحيم من قبل الصالح وصعد إلى السماوات وجلس عن يمينك أيها الآب ورسم يوما للمجازاة هذا الذي يأتي فيه ليدين المسكونة بالعدل ويعطي كل واحد فواحد كحسب أعمالي يا رحمتك يا Day of Godliness, since he was determined to surrender himself up to this for the life of the world. Truly. He took bread upon his pure, spotless, undefiled. Blessed life giving hand. We believe that this is true. Amen. He looked up to us, heaven, to his father, master of all, and he gave thanks. Amen. Blessed be. Sanctified it. Amen. We believe, confess, and glorify.
give it is holy disciples and pure apostles saying take and eat with you all for this is my body which is broken for you and for many to be given for the remission of sins do this in remembrance of me this is true the cup after supper he mixes with wine and water and he gives thanks Amen Bless thee Amen Sanctify thee Amen Again we believe confess and glory Holy disciples and pure apostles, saying, Take and drink with you all. For this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, to be given for the remission of sins. Do this in remembrance of, of me. This is also true indeed. of this bread and drink this cup you preach my death confess my resurrection and remember me till I come Amen 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 we preach your death O Lord your holy resurrection and ascension we Ascension to him, sitting at your right hand, O Father, his second coming from heaven, also and glorious. We offer you these oblations for us to use in every occasion, every condition, and for all, all things. Worship God in all and reverence. We bless you, we bless you, we serve you. And this bread he makes in this holy body. We believe in this blood of the new covenant. We believe. Everlasting life to those who partake of Him. Amen, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Make us all worthy and master to partake of your holy for the purification of souls, bodies, and spirits, that we share so all the saints who please us ever since the beginning. Remember, O oh Lord, the peace of one holy universe, of our soul, like church. Lord, have mercy. Peace, which 
to a board on a broad cross, preserve and peace and all those spirits. In the first place, remember our Lord, and by the Lord, the second, his brother, was Lord, and by Daniel. Lord, Ministers and those who live in the appear to all your faithful people. Remember, O oh Lord, to have mercy upon us all. Mercy upon us, O God, the Father Almighty. Remember, O oh Lord, the safety of your place and a place, Monastery, our Orthodox Fathers, and for those who are doing God's faith. Graciously, O Lord, place land plantations, trees, crops, the fruits of the earth, the wind rains, and the water rivers this year. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Bring them up to the measure according to your grace, and may be ready for seeding and harvesting according to your Lord, that you will touch unto the earth. O oh, treat and dispose our lives as in fear crown this year with your goodness for the sake of the poor of your people. The widow, the orphan, and the stranger of our sake, our eyes, the facts, my hope, seek your holy name. You provide our food in due course. Deal with us according to your goodness with the fear of everybody. Fill our hearts with joy and grace that may all sufficient all things and grow in every good deed. Lord, have mercy. Remember, oh, those of this oblation and those in whose path are offering, those who are presenting them, grant them all a heavenly reward. Pray for these sacred and worthy oblations and our sacrifices, and for those who offer them. Lord, Decreed by only begotten Son of the Pacamoration of you, all saints. Gracious remember all saints of believers since the beginning. The Holy Father, the Patriarch, the Prophet, the Apostle, the Preacher, the Evangelist, the Martyrs, the Confessors, and all the righteous people who affected their faith. In the first place, the ever virgin, all grief for you, Saint Mary, who gave birth to God the true word. And for us, and John the Baptist, and Martyr, the Archdiac, first Martyr, and Stephen. There behold the Lord, Samak, the Evangelist, and Martyr. So as the Prince, the Patriarch, our Holy Father, the Teacher, the Discourse, and the Apostolic, Saint Peter, the Last, and Martyrs, and John Chrysostom, Saint Theodos, and the Wisdom, and Demetrius, and so on, Saint Basil, Saint Gregory, the Theologian, Saint Gregory, the American Performance, Saint Gregory, the Armenian, the 318 Assembly at Nice, on the coast of the Bodhna, Ephesus, and our Father, righteous, our Father, and Anthony, the great, the pride of our Paul, the three saints, Macari, and the children, the cross bearer, our Father, John, the Egomen, and Father, the perfect of our Bishoy, the perfect of our beloved Saviour, and the whole host of your saints, have mercy upon us through their prayers and supplications, save us for the sake of him that is called upon us. Let the reader say the name of our Holy Father, the Patriarch, who have departed. May the Lord repose them, oh, all their souls, and forgive us all our sins. May their holy blessings be.
Remember, O Lord, the souls of Passover to you. Belir Salib, Susan, Baba, we make it our draw, Samira, Skandar, Sam, Skandar, Alex, Skandar, Faiza, Karas, Amin, Karas, Mina, Sulaiman, Sophia, Mawad, Isis, Lawindi, Kirele, so. May you, O Lord, repose the souls of those who pass over in the paradise of joy in the land of it, and living in the heaven near Jerusalem. And with the foreignest world, preserve us in your peace till the end. As it was, so shall it be. into your kingdom that your great and holy name be glorified blessed and exalt in everything on it blesses your name with jesus christ your beloved son and the holy spirit peace be with you all and with your spirit Give thanks to the Almighty God, the Father, our Lord, God, and Savior, Jesus Christ. We ask, consider us well, to stand in His holy place, raise our hands and serve His holy name. We ask Him to make us worthy to offer this divine and immortal mystery. Amen. Then was them make so Christ the Almighty, our God. Amen, amen, let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Peace be with you, Lord. And with your spirit. Amen, amen. ناموس والوصايا المكتوبة في الإنجيل المقدس علمنا أن الصوم والصلاة هما اللذان يخرجان الشياطين إذ قال أن هذا الجنس لا يخرج بشيء إلا بالصلاة والصوم <تصفيق> الصلاة هما اللذان هرفع إلي إلى السماء وخلص دانيال من جب الأسود الصوم والصلاة هما اللذان عملا بما موسى حتى أخذ الناموس والوصايا المكتوبة في الإنجيل المقدس الصوم بيصبع الله الصوم والصلاة هما اللذان عملا بما أهلني نوى فرحمهم الله وغفر خطاياهم ورفع غضبه عنهم اللهم الذين عملا بهم الأنبياء وتنبأ عن جيل المسيح 
قبل مجيب أجيال كثيرة الصوم والصلاة هم الذين عمل بهم الرسل وغشروا في جميع الأمم وسألوهم مسيحيين وعمدوهم باسم الآب والابن والروح القدوس كليانا يصون كليانا يصون يا رب ورحام الصوم والصلاة هم الذين عملا بهم الشهداء حتى سفكوا دماهم على اسم المسيح الذي اعترف الاعتراف الحسن امام بيلاص الممكن الصوم والصلاه هم اللذان عملا بهم الانبياء والابرار والصديقون ولباس الصليب وسكنوا الجبال والبراري والمغاير وشقوق الارض من اجل عظم محبتهم في الملك المسيح كنيان ايسون كنيان ايسون يا رب ارحم نحن ايضا فالناس مع كل شر بطهارة وبر وتقدم لهذه الزبيحة المقدسة نتناول منها بشكر لكي بداية لنا الصحاك أيام الآب الخدوس عليه السماوات ونقوم لها أبانا الله في السماوات يتقدس اسمك ليأتي بالقوم تكم عشيته كما في السماء كذلك الأرض خبزنا كفنا عاطين اليوم واغفر لنا زنوبنا كما نغفر نحن أيضا مذنبين إلينا ولا يتقننا في تجربة لكن نجينا من الشرين بالمسيح صار بنا لأن لك الملك والقوة مالك الله بدأنا Embarrassed, so spayan choice. The skiff of Simon took it. Oh, clean up. An opion so Remember, O oh Lord, our congregation, bless them. Redeem us with your spirit, listen in the fear of God. Amen. Have mercy, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. The holy is all for the holy people. Blessed be the Lord Jesus Christ, Son of our God. Sanctification by the Holy Spirit. Amen. One is the Holy Father, one is the Holy Son, one is the Holy Spirit. Man, we hear our God. This is true. Amen. Yon tim yon so makai madisin is o Christo to iyo to siyo imun amin. I believe, I believe, I believe.
given Professor my last address that this is the life given body which your only begotten son, our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, took of our Lady, Queen of us all, Mother of God, your Saint Mary, and made it one with this divinity to write mingling and touching in alteration, and declared the proper confession before Pontius Pilate, give it up all in the name of our on behalf. I believe that his divinity never departed his humanity, not even a single innocent, a twinkle of an eye, given for salvation, remission of sins, eternal life to those who partake of him. I believe, I believe, I believe that this is true. Amen. Amen, Amen, Amen. I believe, I believe. Ah, I believe that this is true. Amen. Pray for us and for the Christians of us that remember them in the house of the Lord. The peace and love of Jesus Christ be with you. Sing a psalm, sing Alleluia. Pray for the merit of partaking of these holy, pure, and heavenly mysteries. Lord, have mercy. Oh, 
As we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For Jesus Christ, our Lord, for the is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. We like to remind you about a health program that started two weeks ago, every Saturday after Ashaya. There's a health program. We invite very good speakers, specialists in different areas, and uh, it's, it's, it's becoming a very popular program. The YouTube of last, it ends by YouTube. YouTube of last week, there were 1,000 persons online watching it. And uh, the program is about 
health attitude, type of foods, type of sport, it's very useful. I like this program to be successful because this makes the church relevant to people that they feel that the church is looking after our health. We have many good specialists, doctors, nutritionists, dietitians, physiotherapists, and all this will be sharing with us. So the program is start by Ashaya, you attend Ashaya, and there is a special talk of some 15 minutes. Then after that, this health topic, and also health topic is not separated from spirituality. We are develop in the process now of developing uh, a CD that will include motivational talks because it narrows down uh, about health style, about health self-control. So we have motivational talks and I give you good news that at least two people over the last two weeks, a lady lost six kilos yeah, it's, it's really wonderful. And a gentleman lost about four kilos and some didn't report. It's a good idea that the church is doing. Also on Wednesdays, we have a program that we have a, a trainer from St. George Hospital that comes here, gives some exercises after the mass. And also it's very useful. He brings with him the stretching bands also, it's very useful. So we like the church to be healthy. We like the church to feel that we look after your health. Go in peace. The peace of the Lord be with you. I mean.